is almost a six minute video on a very simple concept that the volume of a pyramid is going to be the area of its base times the height and divide by three. And that's what your formula is going to be one third base times height. So let's go ahead and get started with just a prism because that area is base times height. Well, this is a rectangular prism, it's a cube, but it's still a rectangular prism. The base is a rectangle. And there's our height there, so our base is going to be that bottom rectangle, and we find the area of a rectangle with length times width. So the total volume is length times width times height, base times height. But we don't call it length and width anymore. We call that base and height for a rectangle. That gets very confusing. Okay, our base is going to be base times height, little b base, little h height. I'm going to go ahead and use capital H for our height of the entire prism. So be very careful with that whenever you're trying to do a problem like this, height of the base and height of the whole figure. Uh, let's go ahead and make the height of this cube six meters. That's gonna mean that all of our dimensions are gonna be six meters. And we just plug that into our formula. Volume is going to equal base times height, six meters times six meters times the height of the entire prism is six meters. So we multiply. Six times six times six in our calculator is 216. And remember, we're multiplying meters times meters times meters. You can treat that just like it's a variable. It's meters cubed. So there's the volume of our prism. So we're putting that right in the corner. Volume equals base times height. And the volume of that is 216. Now, what if we put a little dot in the very middle of the top of that and drew lines, line segments, all the way down to those bases? Well, it's still going to have the same height as that prism. So let's go ahead and write that as the same height. Well, obviously, we've drawn a pyramid with the same base and the same height. And the interesting thing here is it's going to be exactly one-third the volume. Well, let's prove that. Let's see if that's actually true. Is it going to be one-third? Well, let's go ahead and take the actual cube and the actual pyramid that had the same exact height. They have the exact same area for the base, exact same square. Are they going to be one-third? Well, the concept of volume means how much stuff actually fits inside there. So let's put some stuff inside this pyramid and see how many times, well, let's go ahead and make a mess here, and see how many times we can fill this up. There goes one. That's two. And let's go for a third time. Fill this thing up. And three. There we go. Not an exact experiment, but you can see it. Let's go ahead and do that in reverse. Let's go ahead and show again. I'm going to go into it three times. There we go. We got one. And let's go ahead and do it a second time. Getting a little better. And will it fill it up? exactly three times, pour it all in there, there we go, one, two, three, it fills it up exactly three times, three times the volume of that pyramid. Now this concept is still going to work no matter what prisms and pyramids you have. This is a hexagonal prism and a hexagonal pyramid. They have the exact same area for the base, exact same height. Let's go ahead and get rid of those and do the same thing we did before. So they're exactly the same height, exactly the same base. And let's pour. Got one, and we got two, and we've got three. Let's see if I can pour it without spilling too much. And it's exactly three. And there we go. So it's going to be one-third the volume. So let's go ahead and do this again. 
same base, same height, but we're going to divide by 3. You're normally going to see this formula as 1 third times base times height. It's the same concept. We divide by 3. So we take our volume. It's 1 third times that base times height, which was 216 meters cubed, or cubic meters. In our calculator, we divide by 3, and it's 72 meters cubed. So the simple concept we went over is anytime you want to find the volume of a pyramid, find the area of the base, no matter what that polygon is, and then multiply it times the height, and just divide it by 3.